Good morning, everybody. Uniquely Lady Charlotte here, and I am out here early this morning doing Uber. Okay, it may not be early, but it's it's early for me. I caught the first plane in uh, Concord, and that brought me to Charlotte, and now I'm going over to the, I hate to do it, but going over to the airport over here in Charlotte. And then... I saw a plane come in. That's the only reason I'm going over here. So that means the people that are sitting in the lot, a lot of them are getting ready to leave. And um, the news said that today would be the busiest traveling holiday. If they expect about a, about 6,000 additional passengers to come into Charlotte. So I'm going to go over here and get somebody, then head back up to Concord to make that plane. I'm just pretty much doing airports today, doing planes today. Um, I don't want to get out there and hit it too hard because I want to be off the street because uh, it's going to be 93 degrees and the brown sugar melt when it get too hot. It melt, it melts, yeah, it melt. So I, I got to get off the road. Plus, I've always been one to think that my um, my car will overheat if I keep her out here in the heat too long. That's when, but seriously though, that's when you start seeing all those cars broken down on the side of the road from overheating. I, I ain't gonna fare too well if that happened to me. I ain't gonna make it. I ain't gonna make it. So I'm, I'm, gonna, have, I'm gonna end up just going to glory. I ain't gonna make it. So um, get mine out the way. Knock my quarter out the way early so I can get back in that bed and watch me some uh, murder she wrote. I still can't figure out who the killer is. Sometimes I can name a killer, but I gotta figure out why they the killer. So, you know, during the show, she show you different things that people are doing to, um, you don't leave clues behind. I can't never find the clues. I'm always overlooking the dang on clues. Anyway, moving on. So, um, yesterday, I got to tell you something funny that happened to me yesterday at the grocery store. All right, so, Heidi Scotty has found out he's a diabetic. His numbers are still low. I think his A1C is like 7.3. So, I told him, you can get it back. You can reverse it. I'm going to work on getting mine down. I mean, I've been working on it. And, and it's coming down, you know, not fast, but it's coming down. But um, it's better that we're trying to work on it together. But I'm going to tell you right now, he said he was scared straight. So, he, man, breaking his neck to get to that met for me. But I said, we're going to change the way we eat. We're going to walk. And that's what we've been doing. So, um, we've been eating healthier. Now, he likes to eat out, but, you know, he likes Chinese food. That ain't always, you know, that ain't always real good for us from the way based on the way they prepare it, you know, for for Americans. But um, anyway, so I went to the grocery store last night and I was over in the um, the grocery section, of course. I mean, I'm sorry, the produce section because I'm looking for some, I'm like, you know what? I think I want some fresh greens. That's what I want. So I get over there and there's another lady over there, black lady, and she's older. You can tell, you know, she looked like she know how to throw down, you know, but I ain't too shabby myself. You know, because I, I am one of the older ladies. That patch right there say it. And all the little friends have moved in over there. But uh, anyway, so I'm looking through the greens. I'm, you know, picking up the bundles. I mean, the collard greens and picking up the bundles. And I just want enough to make Scotty and I, you know, just one serving each. So I don't want but one bundle. <laughs> really, I didn't want one bundle. I didn't want nothing to go overnight. So, because he's like a bird. So, I was over there looking at the, at the collards and, and the lady, you know, she was looking at me going through the collards and trying to find a nice bunch, a nice healthy bunch. Didn't have all them edge and brown edges on it and stuff and wilted and all that. And they look pretty good. They look young, but they look pretty good. So, I'm spanking the water off and trying to, you know, just looking at them. And she looked at me, she said, oh, you're going to make you some collards too? I said, yeah. She said, I'm going to get these mustards over here, these mustard greens and, and uh, maybe some of these turnip greens. And, uh, I, she said, I don't know which one I'm going to get. And I said, oh, okay. I said, well, uh, I think I'm going a, I'm to a get these uh, collars right here, and I'm going to get this kale, and I'm going to mix them. She said, you only going to get one bunch of um, collars? I said, yeah. She said, and you only, you going you gonna to get one bunch of kale? I said, yeah, and I'm going to mix them. She say, oh, I said, what's wrong? She say, I, I was going to ask you how you cook yours, but never mind. I was laughing on the inside because 
if I was going to do just um, collards, she wanted to know what I was going to do. You know, how, what you're what you going to put in them. You're going to put a piece of hock in it. You're going to put ham in it or whatever. Honey, once she seen me pick up them two, and I told her I was going to mix them, she didn't want to know nothing else from me. She didn't want to know nothing else from me. I told her that I didn't know what the hell I was doing, and I couldn't cook. I laughed so hard on the inside, but I did. I cooked those, them collets, and I, and uh, and that kale, mix it together. Remember, I told y'all, you can mix kale in anything. Um, the kale together, and I uh, bought a small pack of chicken wings, and I, you know, shook them in a little light dust in the flour, and I fried them in the oven. A little crispy coating. It wasn't a thick coating. We don't want that. It's a little crispy coating, and I add my own seasonings inside the, uh, inside the bag first you know i put in there but dang i'm getting ready to tell y'all well i might as well tell you so i put in the bag you know the shake i put in there i put in some smoked paprika you know according to your taste and my taste smoked paprika celery salt i use that chicken season and powdered chicken season i told y'all about put some in there according to taste i put um the five spice the chinese all you know five spice Put that in there according to taste. I get a little bit of extra cumin. I put that in there. And um, I do um, oh some Italian um, seasoning, you know, in that, you know, the little dry flakes. I put some of that in there according to taste. And I'm trying to line it up. Oh, onion salt. I put a little onion salt in there. Now, this is not in the flour. This is in the bag with just the seasonings. All right. Then I put, um, got that in there. Hold on, y'all. Oh, then I put a little bit of that orange saison seasoning in there. One, they come in packets. You can tear them open. So um, I put, depending on how many chicken wings you got, you know, I had uh, I had six. So he got three and I got three. So I put one pack of that saison orange chicken seasoning in there. Sometimes it come in a little jar and sometimes it come in the packets. I'd like to control it better in the packets. And uh, then I, oh, and I put some black pepper in there. Um, so you got your seasons in the bag and you mix them well, you know, you shake the bag around, mix it real well. Then I put my, um, my little bit of self-rising flour in the bag. It's just enough to coat. I just want to coat. I don't want to glop it on it. I don't want it thick. I don't like a bunch of flour on my chicken. So, uh, I put that in there, shake it up, coat it, it's dry, you know, and then I lay it on the pan, but I take the, the flat pan, the cookie sheet, and I take that other sheet with the holes in it. Whole bunch of little holes in it and I set that on top of the pan so when the um, chicken cook and the grease can drop down through them little hole through those holes and go into the bottom pan and uh, oh and then you take a cap full of uh, canola oil or yeah don't use olive oil use canola oil something that's gonna crisp olive oil to me don't fry it just kind of saute but um and you take your cap of oil you can use vegetable oil if you want but a canola oil peanut oil something that's gonna crisp and you pour it in the cap. Don't pour it on the chicken directly because it's going to get away from you. It's going to get away from you. So you pour it in the cap and you pour drizzle it over the chicken one piece at a time. You drizzle it. We don't want it slop and wet. We just want to drizzle it because the chicken skin got its own its own um, fat in it. And so uh, you pop it in the oven. I put mine on 450 for about hmm, maybe about 25 minutes. Preheat the oven first, but you can go in there, always go in there and check it, you know. So, but that's how I did mine. So, we had that. We had the three chicken wings each. Um, and then we had the, the collards and kale mixed together. And what else did I have? Oh, I made some cilantro rice. It, it wasn't nothing fancy, you know. It's just I took the rice, and he was like, I don't want to eat any rice. This got starch in it. I'm like, you need some starch in your diet, you know. So, I said, but what I'm going to do is... I'ma rinse the um the rice off. So the rinse, I mean the rice, I put the rice in the bowl, the white rice, I put it in the bowl, and I, you know, let it sit in there for a while. All the starch, you know, starch came up, the water turned milky. I poured that out. I put some more water in there, ran my hand, shook it around, shook it around, you in the bowl, shake it around, shake it around, you know, stir it around. And then I let it sit for a little while longer. And I came back, I poured that out. I just kept doing that until the water got damn near clear. All right, then I steamed the rice with a little bit of that chicken bouillon, just a little bit now, just a little bit, um, that chicken bouillon, and I didn't put any butter in it, an oil, I just stirred it while it got to a, came to a boil, I just stirred it, keep it from sticking, and then, um, after, it, it fluffed up real good, um, it was great, it fluffed up real good, and 
I put it, I put some of it in a bowl, a plastic bowl, and I had cut up some, um, well, sliced up or diced up some cilantro. I love fresh cilantro. cilantro. And um, I put that over in the rice and I just stirred it up. And uh, we didn't put any butter or nothing on it. And I didn't have to put salt on it because I had the chicken bouillon in there. So it's like a little light chickeny flavor. And I put, oh, I put a little bit of, um, a little bit of lemon pepper in it because I didn't have lime juice. So I had that little lemony zing to it and the cilantro and the rice. Lemony zing, cilantro rice. It's good too if you just take lime juice and uh, just squirt it over, you know, squeeze it over the rice and put it in your cilantro and mix it up. And so we had that. We had cilantro rice, three chicken wings each, and uh, collards and kale mixed together. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, you want to know how to cook my collards and kale? Okay, this is how I do it. All right, so you know you got to clean your collars and you got to clean your kale. All right, so I filled up the sink with water and I put a bunch of, um, I took that big box of salt. And I, that's the only reason I buy that big box of salt. And I poured it all over in the water in, with the, in the sink with the kale and the cabbage because I tore it into pieces. I took stems off. I took all the leaves off the stem. I don't want any stems in my stuff. All right, so I just got a sink of uh, full of water and a, a cold water cold water and a um cold water oh and the salt so i poured the salt in there and i mix it around mix it around i do that because if there are any bugs on it i want to kill them okay and i let it sit in that water for about i let it sit in that water for about 45 minutes to an hour because i was doing some other stuff and you know it was important that i finished watching murder she wrote so while i'm watching murder she wrote i let that sit in the sink and I go back in there once in a while and I swish it around some more, turn them, you know, pick them up, turn them, dunk them, turn them. That's in case any bugs crawl to the top and floating on top of a leaf. No, I'm going to turn that. You're going to drown today. Today, I'm sorry. I'm praying for yourself, but you're going to go. So, I did that and that salt the water. Then I let the salt the water out and I ran it under the cold water, just getting it out and wringing it around, wringing it around, running the cold water on it. Then I take it in uh, handfuls, you know, and... Uh, I set it over in something else, you know, then I'm going to drain that later. All right, so your water should have a, kind of like a, a, a greenish tinge to it, okay? All right, so now, you got that set to the side. Now, in your pot of water, you don't need a lot of water. It's going to look like a lot of greens and cabbing, a lot of kale and collards, but it's going to cook down. It's going to look like it's bubbling out your pot, but it's going to cook down. All right, that's what the lady was talking about. Tell me, you know that's going to cook down. I'm thinking, lady, I know how to cook greens, but anyway, she didn't know about all the magic I was going to make in that kitchen. So, now in my greens water, in my, well, I'm going to tell you the greens in the kale water, the collars in the kale water. Now, this is what you do. I'm going to tell you, I ain't, I'm, you know, I'll ain't give my secret away, but I'm going to go and tell y'all. Don't tell nobody. Okay, so in, in my container, um, I mean in the pot of water on the stove, then you're going to get you some fresh garlic. If you can't get fresh garlic, get you that garlic that's in the jar already minced. And you get you about, depending on how many collards you got or how many green, how much greens you got. You know, I'm saying how, the content, how much you got, how many pounds you got, whatever. I don't know how you do it. So you, I like to take, for what I had, one bunch of collards and one bunch of kale, I took a tablespoon of garlic and put it over in the water. Okay, that's what I like to do. I put it in the water. Then, excuse me. I took me a, a half a, well, yeah, a two teaspoons of the chicken bouillon, and I stuck it over in the water, okay? Then I diced up me a, a yellow onion. I like onion in my greens. So I diced up a yellow onion in my greens. I got that over. No, I mean, you don't put that over in there yet. It's going to be soggy, so you hold that to the side. Then I put my um my chicken bouillon and my garlic. Oh, and you don't, don't use water. I'm sorry. Don't use water. Don't use water. Get you some chicken stock. Because see, I boiled mine in the the same juice that I had boiled the chicken thighs in the day before. So that oil was already in there from the chicken thighs, the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I had that flavor. I had already flavored that water. So I put the greens and stuff in that water, in that pot. I just added the garlic and a little bit more of the chicken bouillon, just a little bit. And um, you let that cook for like 45 minutes to an hour, honey. You talking about smelling like you down in the country. Like grandma cooked that. You're going to keep watching. Keep watching it. It's going to boil down, boil down, boil down. Don't cook it on high. You want to start out high, but then you want to go put it on medium and get you a lid that fit. You know, that steam 
going to cook it and make it tender. So you just keep cooking it and the juice going to go down. And that juice was what we call in the South pot liquor. You can drink that pot liquor. You can drink that. No, you're not going to get drunk, but that's just good. Or if you got some cornbread, so I didn't make any. But if you got some cornbread, when that juice and that cornbread co-marry and meet and co-mingle, those are terms that um, chefs use, co-mingle and marry and meet. I don't, I don't know. But when they get together, you get a little bit of that corn, that corn, that uh, collard juice on that cornbread, and you pinch it up with your fingers and get you a few pieces of uh, 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 greens. Honey, you hurt yourself. You hurt yourself. So we ate that. Now, mind you, it's got to eat like a bird. So, of course, I gave him a half a serving spoon of um, rice. Uh, gave him two. No, he didn't even have a whole. He didn't have a whole serving spoon of greens. And he got two little baby chicken wings. Because he get three, but he didn't give it two. He didn't give it two. Because he don't eat. He keeps talking about, I'm full, I'm full, I'm full. See, Scott used to weigh 600, I mean, Scott used to weigh 400 some odd pounds. And he's short. So he he just got this thing in his head. That Anyway, he, now he weighs 170 pounds. He looked like he about 150 to me, but he say he 170. I don't know. Anyway, so he don't like to, he won't eat a lot. So anyway... Um, I was, you know, I'm eating, and I, you know, I glance over there at him without him knowing. He done cleaned his chicken bones. He say, uh, baby, we, you got any more greens? He done ate all his greens. I didn't give him but a little bit, but he was like, you got any more greens? Yeah, we got some more greens. He say, well, can you get me? All right, let me get up and go get you some greens. Go get, okay. He say, um, don't forget to put some cilantro rice on there. I'm like, what? I said, okay. So I gave him a little tip of the spoon of the serving spoon. You know, the regular serving spoon. I gave him the, the plastic one. I gave him, you know, I just filled it up halfway, gave him that. He's like, put a lot on there. Okay, so I put that on there. And um, when I took him his plate with his greens and his rice, his cilantro rice, he say, we got any more chicken? Mm-mm, mm-mm. You, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. He say, you say we get three? I ain't had but two. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I had plans for that chicken wing. That was going to be for this morning, but he remembered. So I went in there and got his little chicken wing. All right, he ate that one. So I had one in there left. I thought I had three on my plate, but I didn't. I had two because I had filled my plate up with the other stuff. So he said, uh, he ate that one. He said, we got in that chicken wing. I said, you ate three. He said, well, you ain't had but two. You going to eat yours? Hell yeah, I'm going to eat my chicken wing. I ate my chicken wing this morning. So, anyway, that's what I had for dinner. That's what I had. So, now I'm sitting here at the airport. It says 16 to 20 cars ahead of me. So, um, I'm going to just sit here and maybe try to crack open this book, Seven um, Habits of Successful People. So, I'm going to try to crack it open and read a, read a couple pages out of it. Get started. Or maybe turn on YouTube and find me a seminar or webinar to listen to. I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been listening to those type of things. You know why I'm driving. But anyway, I'm going to go. And uh, I will show y'all my outfit, but I don't know how. Okay, I don't know how. So, I don't know how. I don't know. I can't stand outside. I don't know. Anyway, I got on my shirt. I got on me some some crinkle pants. Y'all see my crinkle pants? So, my shirt. My little crinkle cargo pants. And I got on sandals today. I normally don't wear sandals. Because I feel naked. I don't want my feet showing. I know this is not very good, but... You can't really see my shoe or nothing. And if I take the sandal off, honey, God might send somebody to help me strap that sandal back up because I was about to just ready to say forget it throw this sandal across the room today. All right, I'm going to go. I got to go. I got to prepare for these trips. I got a plan today. I got a plan. All right, I love you guys. Hey, Mama, and um, I'll see you later. All right, bye.